For today's video, I'm gonna do all the pickups I got in within the last week and got in some pretty fire stuff, so make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the video. Got in quite a few shoes and I got in a streetwear item as well, so make sure you stay tuned for the entire video so you can see what I picked up. And before I get into it, if you would, please leave a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel if you are new to it. I'd really appreciate it. And now let's see what the first thing I picked up was. So I'm going to show the first item I got and it's going to be the streetwear item. And I'm not going to go too much in depth into it because I will be doing a full length review on it pretty soon on my channel. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And it was the palace backpack that released week one of the new palace season and i really liked how this backpack looks it looks really clean and you'll see that once i review it and also once the new supreme backpacks come out for fall one of 20 i will be comparing that backpack with the palace one but this is a really nice piece it was roughly the same retail as the supreme backpack so you can either go for the palace one or the supreme one so like i said once those come out i will compare it so you can decide for yourself so that is the only streetwear item I got, so now onto the shoes I picked up. So I picked up five pairs of shoes this week, and I'm gonna start off with the lower end ones, and these first two came from Nike. So here's the first one I picked up, Nike Air Force One box, and I ordered these using the methods that I made a video on, on how you can resell just regular shoes from the Nike store, so that's what I did with both of these. So I use 10% cash back with Rakuten, and I'll put the video in the description so you can see how to do that. So I used Rakuten and then I also had the 20% off student discount code. So I was able to get both of these for well under retail and I'll be able to resell them. So that's always really nice. Make sure to go check out that video. It's a really easy method and you can make quite a bit of profit doing it. So just make sure you go check that out. I'll put a link to it in the description. So the first shoe I got were these Air Forces just cause the other shoe I picked up was only one per order. So I wanted to add another shoe just to make it worth it. and. I got these all white Air Force Ones, but these aren't regular Air Force Ones. These are, I think called the Air Force One Craft. I think that's what they're called. Um, but the difference between these is the leather is a lot better than just a regular Air Force One. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but the leather on it is more tumbled than a regular Air Force One and the leather is softer than a regular Air Force One. There's a different material on the back. The heel cap is like the suede material, so it's really nice. So if you wanna all white Air Force One, but don't like the quality of the pretty common ones, the like the normal ones, you can get these ones. They do retail for $120, so it's a little bit more, but the materials are better. So if you want better materials, definitely go for these. And these retail for $120, and I was able to get them for I think around $95, $96 after the cash back and the 20% off. And they resell for about $130 plus, so it was a pretty good pickup. And I just added these to cards, so if they don't sell, I'll just return them. But couldn't go wrong with these. These are size seven, so pretty good size in Air Forces. And then here's the other shoe I ordered from Nike. These recently came out. It's a Jordan 1 mid, and I was only able to get a size 11 because I missed the smaller sizes. But here is the shoe itself. I don't know what these are actually called, but I think people are calling these like the Blue Unions or something just because they have that Jordan 1 Union vibe. So these retailed for $125, but after the cashback and the coupon, I was able to get these for around $100. So $25 under retail for pretty recently released Jordan 1 and these are kind of nice in hand. The material on this isn't leather, it's like this, I don't know, it's like this canvas material. It's almost like what the Supreme backpacks are made out of, so it's kind of weird. And then this back heel part is like a suede-ish material, so that part's pretty nice, but I don't know what I'll do with these. I don't know if I'll hold these or try to quick flip them, but they do go for like 150, 140 right now, so I just decided to pick them up, no reason not to. So we'll see what I do with these in the future, but that is the Second shoe I got from Nike, now on to the better releases. So the next shoe I got was also Jordan 1. It is a GS size, cause that's all I pretty much buy now is GS Jordan 1s, it's a size 7Y. And I got these from Godap. And the story behind these is I got these for 25% off using Cash App, cause a few weeks ago, they were doing a promotion where you could get like a $50 discount or 25% off a shoe you bought on GOAT. So I decided to take advantage of that. And I got a pair of the recently released Jordan 1s and I think these are called Light Smoke Grays. I think that's what they're called, I can't remember. But I was able to get a GS pair of these and I think I paid around 216 after shipping. So that's a really good deal. They go for around 260 right now. So this will just be a shoe I hold and hopefully they hit around 300, 350 by the time the holidays come around. So we can only hope, but this was just a nice little pickup, nice hold, and I was able to get them for $50 off normally. I think they were $250 when I bought them, but since Cash App was running a promotion where I got 25% off or $50 off, I was able to get these for 
216 after shipping, so I thought that was a good deal, so I decided to pick them up. So that is it for this shoe. Now on to the fourth shoe I picked up. So the fourth shoe I picked up was also a recently released one, and I was able to get these off the sneakers app. So I won these on sneakers, surprisingly. I've had some pretty good luck with sneakers these last few weeks. I've won quite a few pairs of shoes from them. I've won I've won the last two women's Jordan ones, so that was pretty good. So here's the box, red box. I like this box better than the black and red one, or the mainly black one. So these are the snakeskin ones, and I got a size six women's, so I think that's a four and a half in men's. And then here's the shoe itself, so it's pretty nice. It has the satin tongue and then the snakeskin on the back. I don't really know what I'll do with these either. I'll probably just end up holding them because I missed the window to quick sell them. But they do come with two sets of extra laces, which is always cool when a Jordan 1 comes with two sets of laces. I wish more of them did that. But that is it for this shoe. Overall, not a big fan of the shoe, but still pretty nice. Has some value to it, so I'll probably just end up holding on to these. Most Jordan 1s go up in the future, so I expect these to be no different. And I think the smaller sizes will do better than these because I just feel like this is more of a girl colorway than a men's colorway so we'll just have to wait and see what happens over the next few months so that is the fourth shoe i got now into the last one and that is the best one so make sure you stay tuned for that so let's get right into it so here's the last shoe i got in for this week you already know what these are just by the box and i got these in a trade with someone in the discord group i'm in so if you want to join the discord group i'm in it is free i will put a link to it in the description so make sure you join it they do really affordable slots for the newest releases and they're the prices are a lot better than some of the other groups I've been in, so if you have trouble getting the releases, make sure to join that group and enter their slots. You'll probably hit. They're usually pretty good at cooking the releases. So like I said, I will put an invite link in the description, so if you want to join it, you can. And it's completely free, no monthly cost, so it'll probably stay that way for a while. So it's a really good group, one of the better free ones I've been in, so I highly suggest all of you to join it. So here are these shoes I got. You probably already know what these are by the box, but here they are. I think these are size nine and a half women's or eight in men's so pretty good size and i'll show you the shoes themselves so here is the shoe itself it is the off-white jordan 4 and i think this was called the sale colorway i can't remember i didn't really keep up too much on these but they do come with three sets of extra laces so that's pretty cool like most off-white shoes do and the material on this is a lot different than what i thought it was going to be i thought this was going to be a leather shoe like how the white cement fours are but it's almost like a nubuck suede material kind of i don't know what jordan fours have had that but it's just a different material than i thought it was going to be but overall pretty nice shoe i got this in a trade so i'll probably end up holding on to these hopefully they'll go up in the future but i'm assuming they will right now they go for around a thousand dollars so i'll probably unload these hopefully they'll hit like 1500 by then in the next few months so i'll just end up holding these in my collection overall decent shoe nothing i would ever wear personally but still nice to have this in the collection so that is all the pickups i got for this week overall really happy with all of them i thought i had a really nice week of pickups and i'll probably end up doing this for future videos i won't do individual videos for all the pickups i'll just make one big video at the end of the week just highlighting all of my pickups that i got in within the past week so that is it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel if you're new and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video